Hi there. Welcome to the Real FX YouTube channel. This channel is dedicated in bringing to you the most valuable Forex content that you're most likely to pay for somewhere else. And if you are new to this YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can be notified when we post the next video. And without any waste of your time, let's get straight into the video and I hope you find this video fruitful. Okay guys, let's get into the video. So in this video, uh, you've seen the title, I'm going to be showing you a trade that I took uh, using the SMC concept, which is the, the change of character. The supply and demand the break of structure all those all those concepts okay so i'm going to be combining them and i'm going to be showing you how i used them to catch this trade so the first thing you want to do you should go on to a higher time frame and then we we have to see the the the, the trend in the higher time frame so as you can see here on the daily we are on the daily we are in an uptrend because we can see the break of structure you can see uh, the break of structure and then we had this here as our liquidity this 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 low here was our liquidity and then the market reacted on our other block over here So the market reacted on our other block over here. It didn't really touch the other block, but uh, the reaction was over here. And then the market started pushing. So this is what we had. This was the impulse. This was the reaction. And then this was, this is what we expect. So we expect this high to be taken out. So we expect this high to be taken out we expect this high to be taken out and if that doesn't happen so what we what we can expect is for the market to have a reversal straight from this point and then after that reversal we can expect the market to bounce from here come all the way here liquidating uh, this this high this low here and also this low as liquidity and then start pushing up so the market was i think the trade i took was around here so as you can see here we were still expecting the market to take out this high this being our our range being this low here this is our range our range is this low over here and this high over here so that's that's our range so next thing we want to do is to check the four hour see what's happening on the four hour so what what is happening on the four hour is so on the four hour this was the high this is the high of the range in the daily so we started seeing the market pushing all the way to the downside and when we, and when we got to this area we started pushing up so this here was a high because we had this small we had this small trend in here remember guys every retracement is also a trend if you dive into the smaller time frame so in the four hour we had this small downward trend over here we had a small downward trend over here and then we took out the high and then that was a small change of character so here let me get rid of this so here so over here over here we had a change of character so the market shows us that okay now it's uh, looking forward to taking out this high over here so the market gave us a change of character and then gave us the reversal now it's shooting upwards so the trade that i took is a uh, is around here it was a, a sell around here so we're gonna go into the 15 minutes we're gonna go into the 15 minutes and i'm gonna show you guys how i caught the trade and you can also apply this simple concepts to also catch similar trade
so as you can see here on the 15 minutes we this was the low the low got taken out the low got taken out and when we took out the low we also took out the high that was change of character so we had a change of character where was our point of interest so we expected the market to give us give us a retracement and then start pushing back back up so this year this year this year was the impulse this was our range this was the low and this was the high so where is our liquidity we know that our liquidity is this point these two relatively equal highs over here so we know that we have to take out this lows by pushing to the downside and then start pushing up to the back to the upside so we had a small upward trend over here in this in this range we had a, a small upward trend going up going up like that we took going up and then finally we shot to the downside now with us shooting to the downside with us shooting to the downside we took out this low over here so this was a sign that okay we are about we are about to shoot to the downside so we know that after breaking out taking out this low over here I use uh, through this impulse taking out that low like this we expect the market to push back and then come into a zone and then then the market will continue going going up so this this was our zone we expect the market to return either on this level or on this other block over here so the trade that I took was this cell over here because we took out this we took out this level over here with the break of structure to the downside. Now taking out that as a as the break of structure, this here became our point of interest. So this here here was our supply. So we had supply zoom here, and then let's look what the market did. The market after breaking structure the market returned back into the uh, came here and then it mitigated the, it, it grabbed liquidity on this high here so it created two relatively equal highs so we knew we have to push to the upside and then when we came back this was our entry here and then our take profit has to be has to be uh, at this low here so our take profit was here on this low that was our take profit so this was a quick one uh, one is to four point six risk reward ratio and then from there that's when we started focusing on catching trades going up okay guys that's it for this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel